Um, that would have been well I'd cut off because the next exercises would just be crawling. And that's what I'm doing in volume at the minute. However, uh, a couple of things which I'll add in. Um, where the, the alignment of my position, you know, basically trying to relearn movement and a baby trying to learn movement for the first time is a baby has essentially got complete mobility in, in all, all joints, you know, you can bend them in half and whatever. Um, with myself, especially having, um, well, just living in a Western society, but also especially having had a number of days uh, immobilised in bed post-op, um, I've, uh, I've got a, a, an amount of, of joint stiffness, um, probably uh, suboptimal length in, in some muscles, be that through residual stiffness or an actual shortening. So one of the things I'm doing now is, as you can see, what I call 90-90 sitting. Um, in having 90 degree uh, bends at the knee ensures that you've got uh, a bigger lever for the rotation. For instance, if I was to have a bigger angle uh, in, the, in the flex, it's actually less of a uh, uh, of a lever. You see that the knee's rotated down here. I push that out, it forces the knee to rotate further externally. So this is full uh, external rotation on the lead leg. Same deal applies for internal rotation on the rear leg. It would be a rare day for a fit and active person in the Western world to actually get um, experience of full internal um, rotation at the hip potentially you know uh, uh, you know, the more easily experience external rotation I would suggest uh, but you know someone as immobile as, as me I, I will not be going through that uh, the high ampl amplitude range and so I'd, I'd start to lose it so this is just to ensure that access to that gets there um, and then another part of my hip control that ties in with the major movement as well. I should be able to swing between the two positions quite smoothly. As you can see, it can't at the moment. Um, now, full internal rotation on the left now and full external on the right. Um, another part uh, of in ensuring uh, optimal length and mobility as well would be uh, get a, a stretch on the on the rectus femoris. Um, there's a, a, a number of well, there's a couple of excellent options on that. If you've got someone else who's going to help you, um, the the best one I'm aware of in, in a solo position would be uh, the wall stretch. Um, actually, I haven't tried one of them because I think in my debilitated uh, condition, uh, who knows? But let's give it a whirl. See a bit of crawling now as well. And notice as well, uh, one of the great advantages of, of crawling everywhere, not trying to walk, are these transition phases. Um, and that one, for instance, in, in coming up out of quadruped into this position, you're um, executing a, a mini hip hinge, a squat as well, but you're eliminating the ankles from the equation. The ankles will add a, a lot more complexity. Add, add advantage as well but uh, once again on that same principle of stacking the more fundamental um, well sorry stacking primary and fundamental movements to get a complex one being able to get this hip hinge and this stability in, in tall kneeling will carry it straight over into being able to execute a squat so the, the squat is the next step after uh, the crawling so all of this transition that you start experiencing in the crawling is really helpful for that. Uh, there's also a, a transition into split stance as well, which it, it, once more can be a benefit. Let's see if we can do a wall stretch. Someone can't see this, but we shall see.
reverse up to the wall in the uh, in the crawl. Knee flat against the wall, chin pulling up. Come up into a stretch, the rectus from us. Whoa, whoa. Any fall there? Now I, I should, if I've got uh, a um, uh, a sufficiently lengthened uh, rec fan, be able to get me uh, my arms to my heel. That ain't happening at the minute. I think you can probably see it like a. I haven't tried this before and there's one or two aspects which are probably a little bit risky for you to be trying by yourself if you're at risk of a fall. But we start to all finish. with myself today now. That's a, that's a weapons grade stretch, that one, mate. <coughs> that, I think, is pretty much that for today. Um, the, the rest of my blog is, is going to be commentating on all these pieces, talking into it a bit deeper and also discussing the influence I think it's had on, on my progress. You see, see that uh, progression again, going from crawling into this position, all, all helpful, authentic patterns. Uh, ready for sleep now. Uh, thanks, see you later.